We're going through the Happy Hustle Workbook, and it is step by step how you can actually happy hustle in each of the 10 alignments. We're going to be diving in. Do you want blissful balance in your personal and professional life? Great. What's up, guys? My name is Kerry Jack, and I want to help you happy hustle a life you love, one full of passion, purpose, and positive impact. I'm a lifestyle entrepreneur, a professional model slash actor, a digital marketing specialist, a podcast host, author, a biohacker, an eco warrior, a martial artist, a hippie cowboy, and a humanitarian. My goal is to educate, inspire, and entertain you to live a life of passion, purpose, and positive impact. It is time to happy hustle your dream reality. If you want to put the happy in your hustle, then you got to take action on this right now. And that is the Happy Hustle Workbook. This is step by step how you can actually identify where you may be lacking in one or many of the 10 areas of life. We call them the 10 alignments and then where you need to prioritize change accordingly. So if you want to actually Happy Hustle a life of blissful balance, this is for you. What's up, y'all? My name is Kerry Deck. I am a lifestyle entrepreneur and author and founder of The Happy Hustle. And we're going to get into The Happy Hustle Workbook. And for those of you out there who really like tactical, tangible steps, this is for you. Like step by step, fill out this workbook and you will see very simply where you are lacking. And if you're just listening to this, you don't want to like physically actually fill it out. You're still going to get a ton of value that is the goal is to make it you know super valuable even if you don't fill it out right now but my recommendation would be to fill it out later and actually you know get the the customizable workbook for you and the cool thing about it is too it has action tasks uh action tasks excuse me so every single one of the 10 alignments like specifically tells you things you can do to improve your reality right now so i'm actually going to share my screen if you're just listening check out the youtube version if you're watching on youtube what's up y'all this is definitely going to be a good one for youtube so here we go i'm going to share my screen and we are going to get into it so this is the workbook okay the happy hustle workbook 10 alignments to avoid burnout and achieve blissful balance. That's what it's all about, okay? Now, we talk about the soul mapping framework. This is our proprietary system. You know, your soul's map to the blissfully balanced promised land. That's that's really what it's all about, okay? And these 10 alignments, I'll run through them quickly, but these are the areas of life that I focus on in order to maintain personal and professional life balance. Now, there is seasons to life, And I get that for sure. But if you keep track of where you're at in these different areas of life, you will maintain that personal and professional life balance like never before. And it's a beautiful thing. Once you hit that homeostasis of just like, damn, I feel very fulfilled with my reality in all these different areas. I really wish that for you. And I hope that this is something that you can actually like, not just you know, here in theory, but practice in reality. Okay, so those are the 10 alignments. Selfless service is first. Optimize health, unplug digitally, loving relationship. That's the soul part, right? Mindful spirituality, abundance financially, personal development, passionate hobbies, and then impactful work and nature connection rounded out. So that is the soul mapping framework. It's the acronym, okay? And how it all started was for myself personally, I was a burned out tech entrepreneur. All I was doing was working like a damn dog, super unfulfilled, super unhappy. And I burnt out and I pray that you don't burn out. That's the whole goal of this is to actually avoid burnout and achieve that blissful balance. And it started with me doing an assessment on myself. I was like, hey, I just got to figure out where I'm lacking. And I broke my life down into these 10 different areas of life. Initially, I didn't call them like soul mapping or alignments or any of that. It evolved into this framework. But I just figured out, okay, these are the areas that I wanted to really focus on. And I think what really resonated for me was the depth in each of these areas. Like, I know there's many frameworks out there. There's, you know, people talk about 
faith and family and fitness and fun. And like, that's a framework. And then you got the, you know, um, relationships, wealth and, um, health. Right. And like, that's a, that's a framework, but I just didn't feel like it went deep enough for me. So I broke it down into the soul map in these 10 different areas. And then I just like actually graded myself. I was like, all right, I, I really, I'm not much for school, but I do know the grading scale. So I related it to the grading scale. I was like five equals an A. It's like, I'm crushing it. I'm happy hustling in that area. And then one is like an F. It's like, I'm failing. And I just like significantly need to prioritize change in this area ASAP. Okay. And then you got two equals like, you know, a D, three, a C, four, a B. Okay. So this will make sense as we go through the this workbook, because I want you to actually rank where you're at, you know, give yourself a score and selfless service. You know, you ask yourself the question, all right, do you actually practice selfless service? Like, are you helping causes and people that need it? Um, do you volunteer and donate to others who are less fortunate? Or have you been, you know, maybe living more for yourself and not really making time to give? Okay. And so think about this just in the last 30 days. That's like the caveat here. I don't want you to think about your whole life. Oh, I remember in high school, I volunteered at the homeless shelter. Like, no, that doesn't count. But right now we're looking at the, like a live update of where you're at. I mean, not saying it doesn't count, but it just doesn't count for this assessment because we want to get a real snapshot of where you're lacking right now and where we need to prioritize change. So give yourself a score here. Okay. So five is an A, you're crushing it. One is an F, you're failing, right? Then two, define what a five actually looks like for you, right? Like this is really important. What does a five actually look like for you? And really like getting clarity on, okay, a five means for me, okay, I'm volunteering, you know, at least once a week in a nonprofit, you know, um, organization that I care about physically, right? And then maybe you're donating 10% of your income to a cause or to your church or something every month. And then maybe, you know, you are, um, you know, like giving your expertise to someone who needs it as well. Like that's a five and that happens regularly on a consistent basis, but you got to identify what a five looks like for you. Right. And then three, I always like to give our, um, proprietary acronym for each, and this is gift. So you just got to remember gift, give insight, finances, and time. That's what it's all about. Okay. The happy hustle hack here is schedule your giving, like really make sure that you're scheduling your giving. This is huge. If it's on the schedule, it typically gets done. If it's not, then it usually won't, at least for me. So hope you can resonate with that. Ask yourself too, what would be a happy hustle hack that you create for this alignment to make sure that you're giving? And I keep it open for that reason. I want you to actually empower yourself by answering. Now, action tasks to boost your score in this alignment, spend 15 minutes giving your time or sharing your expertise with someone who could benefit from it. Smile and give a genuine compliment to a stranger and then drop a random act of kindness by anonymously buying something small or doing something kind for someone else, right? Like these are just simple uh, uh, action tasks that you can do to boost your score in this alignment. Okay. So this is the first one. This is very similar format for each of the different 10 alignments. Um, the second alignment is optimized health. So again, give yourself a score one to five where you're at in the last 30 days, right? Fives you're crushing it. Ones you're failing. And then, you know, four, three, and two subsequently in between. To define what a five looks like for you in this alignment, you know, get really crystal clear. What does optimized health mean to you? Three, think about this energy acronym that we created, which is exercise, nutrition, environment, rest, gallon, and youth. Now we get into this much deeper into the book, but I'm just giving you high level here and going through the workbook. So these are the different pillars of health. Um, happy hustle hack, in my opinion, it's more important what you don't eat than what you do eat, right? So be real careful and real diligent with the crap that you shove in your pie hole. Be, be very careful, all right? Because it every, everything has an effect, okay? Plus stretch daily. Like they say stretching every single day adds seven years to your life. Don't quote me on that, but I believe it to be true. So 
Think about a happy hustle hack for you in this alignment and write it down. Okay. Now an action task is, uh, you know, to actually boost your score in this alignment. Number one, move your ass for 30 minutes every day. That's it. Intermittently fast is number two, like decrease your feeding window to eight hours. You know, that simply could mean just skipping breakfast, right? It's not that big a deal, um, but it actually can really help. And then three, stay hydrated. Drink a gallon of purified water every day and, and make sure it's good water. Like a lot of people don't drink like that quality of water. Okay. So make sure it's good water that you're drinking. All right. Um, so that is the action task for optimized health. And I hope that's valuable for you. Okay. Now we'll get into the next one, which is unplugged digitally. And just a little reminder, all this is a workbook that you can actually download and it goes completely with the book, the Happy Hustle book. You can get them both at thehappyhustle.com forward slash book. You just basically get the book and then, you know, you get the workbook for free. So that's, you know, something we wanted to make very easily accessible for everybody who actually gets the book. You, you know, we want to be able to implement this stuff. All right, moving on. Unplug digitally. Do you unplug digitally? Like, do you regularly do digital detoxes, putting your phone on airplane mode, closing the laptop, turning off the TV, you know, removing the headphones and, and just actually being fully present, right? Do you set limits on your screen time and create device-free barriers when you wake up in the morning and, and when you go to bed, right? Or maybe, you know, you have a tech addiction and are constantly connected, right? Like, I know it's, it's, it's a factor. So give yourself a score. Five is you're crushing it. One is you're failing, right? Two, define what a five actually looks like for you, right? In this alignment. Three, unplug digitally. Like this is our acronym. Take a break, which means build boundaries, recharge regularly, excess, eliminate excess usage, airplane mode approach, like turn your phone on airplane mode when you're not using it and just keep control, keep disciplined. You have to make sure that you are the master of your devices and not the other way around, especially with AI and all this new tech coming out. Happy Hustle Hack here is just 30 minutes in the morning upon waking and 30 minutes before bed. Just completely go device free. Do a 24 hour digital detox on Sundays to recharge and start your week fresh and ready. Those are some Happy Hustle Hacks. And then think about what a Happy Hustle Hack for you might be in this alignment, right? Think about it and then actually do it. All right, action task to boost your score in this alignment. Number one, spend your first and last 30 minutes of each day device free. That little thing can make a huge difference, I'm telling you. Number two, no phones at mealtime. Like, for real, especially with your kids. Enjoy your food and the company around you. Just put your phone away. And number three, keep your phone in airplay mode for a minimum of one hour a day during waking hours. This is huge. Hope you are just resonating with, with this stuff. Okay, keeping it moving, loving relationships. So now we're on the L of soul mapping. This is loving relationships. And the first question is, you know, do you actually have loving relationships in your life? Are you, um, you know, feeling that love with your significant other, your family and your friends? Like, is there plentiful pleasure and love with your partner? Do you regularly spend quality time with your kids and your family members? And, you know, are you being fully present with them? Or are you distracted, multitasking, and think about other things while spending time with those you care most about, right? So this is the question, right? Give yourself an honest score, or those are questions, but give yourself an honest score. Five is your crush knit. One is your failing. And again, just for the last 30 days. And then two, define what a five actually looks like for you in this alignment, right? And then three, think about the acronym LOVER. This is our acronym to actually diffuse any angst or despair or adversity with a loving relationship. And this is something that I actually like to think about when like shit does hit the fan. I'm like, okay, LOVER, I gotta listen, I gotta observe, I'm voicing my opinion, I'm empathizing, and I'm repairing the situation, focusing on the solution, right? So the happy hustle hack here, is if you want a 10, be a 10. That, my friend, sage words. I got it from a mentor early on in my career. 
um, really, uh, it's, it's run true to me, like so significantly. If you want a 10, be a damn 10. And then plus use a love calendar, which a love calendar is a whole nother topic, but check it out in the book. It's actually been a game changer for my marriage. So it could probably help you too. Um, what would be a happy hustle hack for you in this alignment? Just think about it and write it down. Action task to boost your score in this alignment. One, send a gratitude text or video message to one person you care about. That's it, just one person. Number two, give a gift to someone who deserves it. And number three, surprise your lover with an act of service. That's key. And, you know, just a little caveat here. Actually, The Five Love Languages is a really great book if you want to know, like, what's your partner's love language. Check that book out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Apologies for interrupting your programming. But I have to tell you, the best investment you can make in yourself is one in which helps you acquire skills. You've probably heard people talk about, oh, just invest in yourself and you'll be successful. Yes, that's true to a degree, but you have to invest in skills that will ultimately help you achieve your desired results. And I think one of the best skills one can possess, be it an entrepreneur or an aspiring entrepreneur, is the sales sword. Really knowing how to sell, utilizing pressure-free persuasion, which will make you more money and more impact. Now, if you want to know how to sell more efficiently and effectively, I just launched a sales course called The Proven Roadmap Process to Selling Millions of Dollars and Helping You to Increase Your Conversions Guaranteed. And you can get access to this new sales course that The Happy Hustle is launching at thehappyhustle.com forward slash sales. And if you act fast, you'll get it at the lowest price it'll ever be available because we are launching it and we want to gain amazing testimonials and social proof to further share this knowledge. So if you act fast, you can get it at the lowest price it'll ever be. That's at thehappyhustle.com forward slash sales. Now let's get back to this episode. All right, moving on. We are going to the M, mindful spirituality. Do you practice mindful spirituality? Do you feel connected to a higher power? Do you meditate, practice mindfulness, and have an attitude of gratitude? Or do you feel disconnected, lacking faith in something bigger than yourself? Give yourself a score. Okay, just the last 30 days, give yourself a score. Fives are crushing it, ones are failing. All right. Number two, what does a five actually look like for you, right? Number three, Mindful spirituality, here's a little reminder acronym for you. And I, I remind myself daily of this and it sits. Sits your booty down and just chill in the still. C-I-T-S. <laughs> chill in the still, my friend. Even if you're just not like, like meditating per se, but you're just chilling in the still, it will help you connect to a higher power. Trust me. And to your intuition and just, you know, probably be beneficial <laughs> for your uh, sanity as well. Happy Hustle Hack here. Practice daily meditation, breath work, and gratitude. And then think about what a Happy Hustle Hack in this alignment might be for you. And then the action tasks to boost your score in this alignment. Number one, chill in the still, right? Meditate and focus on your breath for simply 10 minutes a day. Number two, write out five things you're grateful for in the morning and at night. Like gratitude is the key, my friend. And then number three, pray, meditate you know, communicate with a high, higher power and then listen in silence for the message that you receive, right? You'd be shocked. Like if you just like pray and, and ask questions and then just listen, you'll be shocked what might you, what you might hear. All right, moving on. We're going lightning speed because I want to get through it all in, you know, a timely manner. Uh, but once again, you can download all of this stuff and like literally go through it at your leisure and just fill it all out. And I highly recommend you do. Okay, the A, abundance financially. Like, do you feel abundant financially? Do you spend, save, and invest wisely? Do you have the financial ability to do what you want, when you want, with whom you want? Or do you feel financially stressed and maybe a lack of resources to live your dream reality? Give yourself a score. Okay, fives, you're crushing it, ones, you're failing. Number two, define what a five looks like for you in this alignment, right? Number three, abundance financially, in my opinion, is all about increasing your financial literacy 
but also sharpening your sales sword. And we have an acronym for this one. I know, I know, crazy. An acronym within an acronym. It's Roadmap. And this is how you actually can sell more of your products and services. And that is build the rapport, determine the obstacle, the aspiration, then demonstration of, you know, people who have used your product or service successfully, then match that person or that prospect with your opportunity. Ask them, you know, hey, is there anything else potentially holding you back from making this decision today? And then pull them in with ethical scarcity and urgency. And again, we go deep into all of this inside the book, but I'm just going high level here. Then the happy hustle hack here, create a system to spend, save, and invest your money wisely. Highly recommend checking out the book. I will teach you to be rich by Ramit Sethi. If you haven't, that actually is like a playbook on how you can create a system. Now think about for you, what a happy hustle hack would be in this alignment for you. Action tasks to boost your score in this alignment. Number one, send an email, text, DM, et cetera, to five potential prospects. Okay. Number two, create a video for a past client, adding value and offering support. And then number three, read for 15 minutes from a financial book, article, or blog, right? You know, abundance financially is all about that financial literacy. And then you got to put in the reps. You got to do the work. Don't be shy. Just put yourself out there and give value to others. And then you will be shocked how many people are going to just ask you, hey, how can I learn more about what you do and work with you? But it's financially, my friends, it's part of happy hustling. And that is the A in the soul mapping, okay? The P, the first P, personal development. Do you focus on personal development? Like, do you consistently read, listen, and watch educational, inspirational content? Do you acquire new skills and knowledge to better yourself? Do you spend time with inspiring people who raise your vibration? Or do you feel you are digressing or stagnating in your development? So give yourself a score. I mean, obviously, if you're watching and listening to this, you care about personal development. So kudos to you. But give yourself a score. Five equals an A, one equals an F. Number two, define what a five looks like in this alignment for you, right? Just like an archer. If you want to shoot a bow and arrow successfully at a target, you got to know what the heck the target is. That's why we get to define what a five looks like. Number three, personal development. This is my go-to 30-30-30 system of growth. It's like my guaranteed system of growth. And I got to say, it's a game changer. 30 minutes of reading in the morning, 30 minutes of listening in the afternoon, and then 30 minutes of watching in the evening. That's it. All inspirational and educational content. Like no rom-coms don't count. Okay. Sorry. Happy Hustle Hack, schedule your growth sessions, right? And the reason we do those 30, 30, 30 is um, it hits different centers in the brain, right? Like when I'm reading, it's different than when I'm listening and it's different than when I'm watching, right? So give yourself a uh, Happy Hustle Hack for this one. You know, think about something for you that you could do uh, to create, you know, growth personally. And then an action task to boost your, boost your score in this alignment Read 30 minutes of an inspirational and educational book. Study, learn, and practice one new skill that will help you with your work. And remember, skills pay the bills. And then three, reach out to a mentor who is where you want to be and offer to add value, thus building the relationship. Okay. Keep on moving. Here we go. We're talking about passionate hobbies. Passionate hobbies, my friends. Most high performers I know don't do passionate hobbies enough. Okay. So do you have passionate hobbies that you do regularly? Do you have fun and routinely take part in activities that you enjoy? Like, do you actually fill your cup with things that, you know, you know, bring you joy and actually are non-work related? I know crazy non-work related activity. Or do you feel guilty about spending time and money on hobbies for yourself? Which, hey, guilt-free fun is what I'm all about. Okay. But I can I can resonate with being, you know, that guilty feeling because in the past, you know, I felt it. Um, give yourself a score, right? One to five. OK, and then number two, define what a five looks like for you in this alignment. Number three, passionate hobbies. I like to think about the four factors of fun. And these are like the questions I ask myself before I like take on a new hobby. I, I say, one, does it bring me joy? Right. Two, will smiling and laughter ensue? Like that's an important question. Three. 
do the others involved raise my vibration, right? That's huge. And then number four, will I grow, right? So like those are the four factors of fun for me. Now, happy hustle hack here. Do fun things you love to do a minimum of two times per week. Two, yes, I know. They got to be scheduled and you got to treat them with the same importance you would a business meeting or date night with your lover, et cetera. Now think about what a happy hustle hack that you could create for this alignment for yourself. Action task to boost your score in this alignment. Number two, or number one, excuse me, schedule two passionate hobbies on your calendar this week. Number two, research a potential new and interesting hobby to try next quarter. Number three, make a commitment to your and, and keep your word with yourself by creating a consequence if you don't do your hobbies, right? So consequence could be like, donating money to a cause you despise that always stings truly so make sure you keep your word to yourself like this is this is huge just across the board but especially with your hobbies all right moving on impactful work impactful work yes this is huge do you currently have impactful work do you have a career that feels you with joy and fulfillment right do you feel you are working in alignment with your higher calling or do you feel disengaged and unhappy with the work you currently do? Uh, give yourself a score. Okay. Just think of the last 30 days, one to five. All right. Number two, define what a five actually looks like for you in this alignment, right? Number three, impactful work. I like to use the hustle dote. This is something I created that like actually can help you, um, you know, really put the happy in your hustle. And it's an equation. It's preparation plus execution divided by time plus energy equals the hustle dope. Okay. And it's all about doing something that excites your soul, something that infuses your passion with your purpose to actually make a positive impact while creating impact and income, right? Like that's really what it's all about. And I know those are cliche buzzwords. I fully get it, but you know, this is a cliche for a reason, right? Happy Hustle Hack, figure out what problem you feel called to solve and who exactly that you want to solve it for. These are questions from my friends at Brand Builders Group and they can be your beacon of guiding light, your lighthouse, will you? Figure out what problem you wanna solve and who you really wanna solve it for and then what is your uniqueness in actually solving it, right? All right, what is a Happy Hustle Hack that you can create in this alignment? Think about that. Now, action task to boost your score in this alignment, journal your impactful work plan and the next step to accomplish it today, right? Like you got to have a plan. Number two, share a post on social media, giving value via your uniqueness, right? That's a great way. And then three, reach out to one individual today who has the impactful work you seek in your industry and offer to creatively support them, right? That's how you can get an actual mentor and really build that relationship. Awesome. All right. Nature connection, baby. This is the end in soul mapping. Woo -hoo! We are doing it. I'm super pumped. Now, do you have nature connection? Like, do you frequently get outside and tap into your primal self? Are you a conscious consumer, right? Voting with your dollar, purchasing products and services from sustainable companies. Yes, that is a part of nature connection. Or do you spend the majority of your time indoors, unconsciously consuming and feeling detached from nature, right? Be real and, you know, honest with yourself and, and, and give yourself a score. Five is you're crushing it. One is you're failing. And then number two, you know what it is. Define what a five looks like for you in this alignment. Number three, nature connection. It's all about connecting with nature really every day in some way and enjoying it but also protecting it, right? And for me, I focus on the triple bottom line. This is the three Ps, people, planet, and profits, right? So focusing on not just the people that you're serving, but the planet in the process and the profits that come from serving the people and the planet, right? So that's what the three Ps, the triple bottom line is all about. The happy hustle hack here, commit to a 15 minute daily walk outside. Bonus if you don't bring any of your devices, okay? And then protect our planet by voting with your dollar and supporting conscious, sustainable com companies like B Corporations, right? You can check all those out. They're listed online. 
And then what would be a happy hustle hack that you could create for this alignment? Think about that. Now, action task to boost your score in this alignment, go for a 15 minute walk outside. And again, bonus points if you leave your phone and headphones. Number two, schedule a minimum three-day camping trip for this month. Yes, three days in the wilderness somewhere, completely just being with nature. There's something called the three-day effect. Check it out. It It is very much worth your while. That's why we do the Montana Mastermind, you know, epic camping adventures for the duration we do them because it takes those three days to just decrease all that stress and cortisol and really just reconnect and tune your circadian rhythm with the sun and just tap into Pachamama's beauty. All right. And number three, research sustainable alternatives for your most common unsustainable purchases. All right. Be a part of the solution. Stop, you know, just shitting on mother earth by buying all this crap. And, you know, I'm, I'm guilty as well. Look, I, I still have unsustainable habits, but I do my damnedest to make sure that I'm as sustainable as possible and, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle, and, you know, follow, you know, ethical practices in my business as well. All right. So those are the 10 alignments. That's the happy hustle workbook, my friends. Now here's something that I want to just, you know, lay on you. And I know this is a lot of framework and a lot of stuff here, but uh, stay with me. Okay. The five stages to happy hustling in each alignment. And this is like based on whatever you ranked yourself. If you're lacking, if you're like, damn, I ranked myself with two in passion or hobbies. Well, here's how you can increase your score. Okay. So number one, do an honest audit of your reality and feel gratitude for where you are. Number two, define your vision for success and what a, what does a five actually look like in this alignment, right? Number three, reverse engineer the process and then create a winning game plan to get there. Number four, take massive action and execute, like manage your time and priorities accordingly, right? And then number five, persistent consistency. That is a, a phrase from Zig Ziglar, one of my early mentors. Shout out to Zig from the grave. That guy is legit. If, you're, if you don't know his stuff, check him out. But enjoy the journey, happy hustling a life of passion, purpose, and positive impact, right? That's how you can just ascend your score up and really get to that place that you're just blissfully balanced and feeling great. So I have a little bio here. This is a part of uh, the workbook, you know, but I do want to say like that I have personally been unhappy and unfulfilled with my work in the past. Like I legit was a banana suit wearing smoothie barista. Okay. I wore a banana suit people that's for real okay i've been a soccer camp counselor like i i you know was you know teaching little kids how to play soccer and i still love you know teaching little kids how to play soccer because i love soccer i was an italian restaurant server okay a nightclub bartender which was quite fun a biohacking health cunt uh coach <laughs> not cunt coach a fancy suit wearing nyc tech entrepreneur and many things in between okay I had quite the humbling journey. Now I am the lifestyle entrepreneur that you see in front of you, you know, running three successful companies, the host of the top 0.5% globally ranked podcast, the happy hustle podcast, the author and founder of the happy hustle. You know, I still do a little professional acting and modeling, biohacker, martial artist, equal warrior and humanitarian. But most importantly, here's what I'm most proud of. I'm a happy hustler. Okay. Who makes more money and more impact than ever before working typically 20 hours per week. Like, and that's really what I like to highlight 20 hours per week because I have freedom, creative financial and time freedom. Okay. Creative financial and time freedom are the three freedoms I crave. And I hope you crave them too. Cause I want to help you get them. Now it wasn't until I fell victim to the ever growing entrepreneurial burnout that I realized truly the sheer importance of work-life balance. And in fact, I now live by the mantra balance equals happiness. So I've dedicated myself to the study and spread of work-life balance ever since. And I want to share it with you. And I want you to put the happy in your hustle. All right. So that is why the happy hustle was born. And that is why I feel called to help people truly put the happy in their hustle. And that's why I'm so passionate about this topic. And I hope this resonated with you. Now, you can check out some additional resources. We got more stuff, you know, in this workbook listed here. But the main thing that I really want you to check out is if you want to get this workbook and you can download it, you can go to thehappyhustle.com forward slash book. And either the pre-order page is going to be there or you can get the book, you know, anywhere you want to get books. Um, or you can 
you know, get it right there on the page. But then when you get the book, you get the bonus of this workbook. And that's how you get this workbook. So you got to get the book to get the workbook as of right now. Eventually, I'm sure we'll just leak the workbook. But right now, that's how you get the workbook. So you got to get the book first. You go to thehappyhustle.com forward slash book. And I would so appreciate the support. And if you do get the book and you snap a pic of your book or your workbook, and you upload it to Instagram or Facebook and you tag me in it at Carrie underscore underscore Jack, you can win a free 20 minute happy hustle huddle with me. It's a legit video call with me. And I'm going to personally help you. We pick someone new every single week who's posting about it. And my team will send you a calendar booking link and I'll legit hop on a call with no ulterior motive, but just to help you put the happy in your hustle. So check that out. If you want to connect with me, you can do so by getting the book and, and just posting about it and sharing about it. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for the support. And I love y'all so much. And I hope this was valuable for you. And I really hope you enjoyed, you know, going through this happy hustle workbook and, and really, uh, you know, just learning some of our ethos and, and the different framework and soul map and system. Regardless, remember balance equals happiness. Y'all that's it for now. In love. I'm out. <laughs>